everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just first have to say thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all of your comments, all of your messages, your emails, your DMs. My phone has been blowing up with so much overwhelming love and support from all of you guys due to my last video. The feeling is just amazing. So thank you guys. Having your support means the world to me and it's really gonna help me get through all of these moments. So thank you guys so much. Now, before we dive into this video, I wanted to film a quick intro to let you guys know that this video was filmed before that video and it was a vlog that was kind of all over the place. It was a little bit of training footage with a really good leg workout. I did a few different meals that I had. I was doing a full day eating and then also a small grocery haul so there's a lot of really good content in there it's just a little bit more of a random vlog and I apologize for that and that's why I needed to like pour my heart out first and then now I think it's okay to put this vlog out because it's still very useful you'll get a great workout great grocery haul of like just some random items that I get and some different food ideas of what I'm currently eating and just to remind you guys whatever I share with you guys it comes from a place of me just sharing what I'm doing so if you're curious what I'm eating right now then this is going to be a really good video for you as well as different things that I pick up from the grocery store. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and after this video, I'm definitely gonna do another one addressing a ton of questions that you guys have also been asking me in regards to my last video. So don't worry, there will be a separate video for that, but for now, enjoy the vlog, and I'll see you guys at the end. Good morning, and it's Saturday, and I'm headed to the gym. Definitely not filming this one, because it's Saturday, and that means Gold's gym is absolutely insane. It's like a zoo in there right now. I'm drinking 3D Energy. This is amazing, gives you so much energy for the gym. Sunshine is everything right now. I love California so much. Old gym, it's gonna be a good one. So I am gonna hit the beach, but before we do, got an icon meal here. This is the new steak, vegetable mix, and rice. This is a bigger meal, so it's like 44 carb, 22-ish fat, and like 30-ish protein. I'm just estimating based on my knowledge of what I remember. Uh, it's in my fitness pal, I tracked it, but it's a bigger meal, which is great because I got a later start to the day. So I'm gonna eat this up and hit the beach. Good morning, everybody. It's seven in the morning, so first day back at my normal gym time since traveling to London. My first meal this morning was the same thing that I have every single morning before I hit the gym. It's my protein oats. I first make the oatmeal with water in the microwave, and then once the oatmeal is cooked, I take it out and I add half a scoop or a full scoop of protein. Honestly, it just depends on how hungry I'm feeling. And then I do about a fourth cup of almond milk, stir it around, mix it all together, and then I let it sit for a minute, and I always eat it when I'm in the car. Hey everyone, welcome to the workout. So I was training legs and this is one leg day that I do every single week. The first exercise is a leg press. So on this one, I did really wanna challenge myself and push some heavier weight this day. So I have six plates on each side and that's pretty freaking heavy for me. So as you can see, I'm struggling to get through all of the reps. Um, I really enjoy training hard and heavy and I will say that about one day a week, I go really, really hard and then the other day a week, I still go really hard, but I'm not lifting as much weight usually. So usually I may come back to this and have a different rep range and scheme in order just to hit different muscle fibers to have slow, more controlled motions. And I find it really works well that way to do kind of like the really, really heavy day and then the higher rep, a little a little less heavy, but still hard AF, you guys know me. Uh, Max was training with me. A lot of people wonder, can guys and girls train together? Absolutely. It's just going to take a lot of time loading on and off all of the the, the, the difference in the weights because usually there's a pretty big difference and he leg presses a lot so it was a good workout though good little cardio workout the next exercise was stiff leg deadlift. We were gonna use a Smith machine, but every single machine was taken. So we decided to take it to the cables and I actually really enjoyed switching it up by using the cable machine. So on this one, you wanna make sure that you're not using your lower back. You're actually doing a full stretch of your glutes and then squeezing your glutes, hip thrusting forward and coming forward and squeezing those glutes at the top. I love this movement and I actually haven't done it on this exact machine before and I thought it was really cool. Cool. So you can see here, see here on Max's angle, the setup of it. It's on a raised plate. You see his feet is on the raised plate. He's holding the cables at his side. And just make sure, I've seen beginners on this kind of use their arms or their traps. Make sure not to do that when you are lifting. Just use your glutes on this one. 
This next superset, you guys, was so brutal, and I've filmed this exact superset for you all before, so if you haven't seen it, though, then definitely take note. So as you can see, we're both going to start with an open split squat. So with the split squat, you're going to have your feet open. You're going to have one foot back on the bench or step. I prefer to use this step because it allows your foot to be a little bit lower, and I think because I'm shorter, um, I'm not shorter like in general. I don't know. I'm 5'5", five five, you guys tell me. But I mean, because I'm shorter than Max, I feel like it feels better for me and I'm able to get a deeper lunge when I do that. Whereas when my foot's a little bit higher, I feel like it's not as concentrated in my glute. So here we were just trying to push through the reps. You guys, at this point, this is the last set that we were doing. It was just so brutal. So we supersetted this movement with sumo squat and Max is actually doing more of a goblet squat. And so I think for me, my lower back was just tightening up quite a bit when I was doing the goblet squat. So I decided to switch it to a split squat and I felt much, much better. So on this superset, just make sure that you take your time, use a weight that's appropriate for you. Don't let it go into your lower back. If you feel your lower back tightening up, take a second to stretch. Maybe you need to do a little less weight. Maybe you need to fix your form somehow. Just make sure that you're always focusing on your form. So I hope you guys enjoy the workout. Let me know what you think about the voiceover. And if you guys Want to see more in the future, and I will see you for the next clips. Oh my gosh, amazing workout! Home from the gym, and that was absolutely most brutal leg session and cardio session that I've had in a while. Um, feel amazing though. Before the gym, I was like dying, and now like I'm dying because I worked out so hard, but I feel mentally so much better. So I'm really glad that I got that in. And right now, I am doing more cardio, so I'll just update you guys in this full day of eating. I have decided to move into a fat loss phase, which I am so excited about. With that, my macros have dropped. I'm doing a little bit more cardio, actually a lot more cardio than I was doing because I wasn't really doing much at all. I am going to summer shredding and everybody that's going to summer shredding is cutting for it. Like all the athletes are doing a cut, some people are doing a prep. So I was like, you know what, I'm definitely gonna cut for this as well. I haven't done a diet in two plus years. Yeah, about two years I haven't prepped or dieted. So I'm dieting down. I'm so excited to be dieting, dieting down. So before um, you guys know, I'm on day, what day are we on? Something like day 26-ish of 90. Up until this point, I've been tracking my macros, but I part of my plan has been like every you know weekend, I get to have a free meal and I have like a drink if I want to drink. I love having like a margarita out or something if I'm with friends. So now things are changing a little bit and now my structure is different. So now I won't be having pizza on the weekends and snacks and things like that and I am working with my coach Paul so he's helping me with this fat loss phase that I'm doing and I'm just really excited to challenge myself again because maintaining is a little too easy for me structure is a little too easy for me but when you challenge me I like it because it's a little harder and it requires a lot more grit a lot more determination uh, and I just really enjoy when it gets really really hard <laughs> which I don't know call me weird but I enjoy that also, after getting back from London, it's been really hard to readjust, but it's Monday, so almost a full week later of getting back, and I finally feel like my sleep schedule is better. One of the most important things when you get back is make sure to take your greens and your vitamins. It's so important, and if you're not taking greens, make sure that you're getting enough of the nutrients throughout your regular diet. And if you know you're not, then you should be supplementing with something like greens. And I think everybody should be taking multivitamins, whether or not you use this brand or another brand, it doesn't matter, but like just make sure that, well, it does matter. Like there are some brands you can get at the store that suck, and you're just gonna like pee out all the vitamins because they're not good quality but what I mean is just make sure you have a good quality one so these are the ones that I take and I also take my full mega okay I'm gonna get to meal one so I can get on with this full day of eating and show you guys what I'm eating today good morning did you sleep okay Meal number two, post-workout meal, is gonna be one whole egg, two egg whites, two slices of turkey bacon, two pieces of bread, and one tablespoon of peanut butter. So I'm gonna put this peanut butter on both pieces of bread, and I'm gonna put all this as a sandwich and eat it. Oh, oh my God, this is so Where are we gonna compare sandwiches? Cause mine is gonna be so much better. Four eggs, half cup egg whites, three slices of pastrami, and a spoonful of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am now all fresh and showered. I feel so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my work stuff and head off to the office, get it work done for a few hours, and then come back and do a midday walk and my next meal with Vinny. He's gonna take a little nap for right now though. Oh my goodness. You're so grumpy. Oh, I love you so much, it hurts. Next meal I'm having is chopped beef enchilada. This is one of my favorite meals. It's 30 protein, 30 carb, and 10 fat. Such an amazing macro-friendly meal, and it tastes amazing. This is so freaking delicious. I'm so happy right now. And Vinny is happy puppy, because I just took him outside to play with his friend Walter. Oh, there's that smile. YouTube never sees you smile, because I never vlog when we go out. It is now dinner time, and I'm having a larger meal. So I'm having rice, mixed vegetables, chicken, all mixed together. And it's a larger serving since it's dinner, so bigger meal here. And then that should almost cap out my macros. I have just a few more left. Grabbed a few things from the grocery store. I got some peanut butter and company. I love this peanut butter. It has a little bit of honey in it. And the macros are decent. It's 14 fat, 10 carb, and six grams of protein per two tablespoons. And I usually only have one tablespoon at a time. Got some break-free egg whites. Chicken in here because I'm gonna put some chicken in a crock pot. I can't believe it's not butter. I'd love to put this on toast in the morning. And then jasmine rice. This is like $2.50 a whole bag, which is two pounds of rice, and it lasts forever. Macro cap for the night is plain non-fat Greek yogurt and then half a scoop of level one ice cream sandwich. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up on your way out and I will see you guys for the next video. So if you're curious about what is going inside of my body right now, then I am about to show you. That sounded really freaking wrong. <laughs>